Hey y'all, Super X in the Hizzle. Today I, well, tonight, built this here Mark Bugs Chalice. It's a little different looking than the RM2. Works a little different than the RM2 as well. Both of them vape awesome. But this one's a little bit um, different the way it's put together. It's 100% stainless steel. It's um, got this really sweet center drain whole action on it when you squonk it I'll show you here in a little bit once I get it wet but um, it's pretty hardcore the way it goes down another big difference in it is you kind of got to build a Z coil for it I, I, I run a Z on them pretty much exclusively um, and those screws those thumb screws I like them as much as I don't like them they come with them um, no threads in the posts the threads are on the screws themselves so they basically grip the wire, is how they go in. They attach to the wire, so they could be kind of tricky. If you turn with a screwdriver, they'll break, I know, because I've done it. The other good thing about them is they come from Romania, so they're really inexpensive on the cheap. And they get here like the next day, not. But if you get some backups like I did, you shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. So that is the chalice atomizer base. I don't use an o-ring in this because there's no holes in the 510 connection so it's not going to leak um, at all. Air hole is not exactly where I like it. It's on the side but I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good. So um, this is the top two again. This thing is pretty pretty hardcore. It's a heavy little deal. I got a 16th inch air hole. I'm running my P-Dib Stats Dark Zero DZ special um, drip tip, drip tip on there. It's the only way I roll. I like plastic. It doesn't heat up. It doesn't knock your teeth out. It's all good. And I like it short. So anywho, let me. Oh, let's fire it. There we go. Oh, big change too. Had to go back to 30 gauge. I think I said that. The 27 didn't want to go in. Didn't want to get grabbed by the posts. These screws did not want to take it. It was just too thick. So I had to go back to a 30. This one is right at 2 ohms. I don't know how many wraps it is. It's like 10 or 12 or 13 or something. I can't count them until I take a picture of them. Anyway, right at 2 ohms, 30 gauge. Throw a little cotton in it and um, show you how the, the juice situation is on this bad boy. Wicker snacker in here, Duck Dynasty style. I right. now for a little trimmage. And that's pretty much it. Now, hopefully this shows up. The juicage. See what I can do to and watch this. Boom. In and out, just like that. It, there's no lingering. It's um, pretty immediate. That's one thing. I, there's no Addy that's anything like this with regards to drainage and all that good stuff. It's a pain in the ass to build it with those Z coils and those little screws tear up your hands. And like I said, putting a screwdriver on them, you'll break them teeth off. And then you'll be PM in Mark 78 about three weeks later, about 50 bucks later, you'll have about seven or eight backup screws. So good to get them before you mess around with it. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, hey. Didn't leak. It's like a little bevel on the edge there, so it's all good. It's, it's always drains. There's no, never a hang up, no BS. You could squonk. I pretty much squonk about every hit with this thing because you got zero concerns with your coil floating in a bath of unflavored neck, cooling itself out. It, it just, it's gone. It's complete. I mean, this camera pretty much sucks balls, so I can't show you that the base of that thing is sloped. 
but it is. And nothing hangs out in there whatsoever. Put her, put her together and pull on it a little bit. There you go. It, it looks pretty awesome. Too. There's no, no debating it. You get what you pay for with Mark Bug stuff. It's about the only Mark Bug stuff I bought. The other tube sticks are not my style. I'm a box type of individual. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff right there, I might say. That. Tastes real good. It's good stuff. If you can get a hand on a chalice, um, you're in the bottom feeders, like most of us seem to be. If you're not, you will be. If you can get your hands on one, I'd recommend it. You can get about four RM2s for one, but still, this is kind of a, a must have situation right here. If you're, if you're into your bottom feeders, you gotta have at least one. Alright, y'all. See ya.